A 12 year old girl from the Fairfield area is in a Dallas hospital tonight, recovering after her family's 4th of July celebrations took a turn for the worse. Like many others on the holiday, they were just lighting some fireworks when one malfunctioned and accidentally shot into the young girl's throat. News 10's Isabella Quintanilla talked to the family member today and joins us in studio with the story. Bella. Yes, Lauren and Gordon, this is Braley Andrews, and right now she has debris and smoke inhalation damage in her lungs, burns in her mouth and throat, and pneumonia. While she recovers, her family says they still have a long road ahead. What started as a fun activity quickly turned into a terrifying moment for Braley and her family. It was one of those big ones that are supposed to go way up in the air, and they're all pretty with the purple and greens. and. It didn't do that. It malfunctioned and it exploded and blew out everywhere. Her aunt Laura Andrews says they didn't realize what had happened at first. A piece of, the, of it flew and hit Braley in the back and just by some, I don't even know how this kind of coincidence happened. She turns around and she's screaming and her mouth is open and um, one of the flying pieces just flies right into her mouth, down her throat and into her lungs. Then Braley started throwing up and her voice started changing, which is when they took her to the ER. They immediately took her back, started trying to put a breathing tube, saw that her throat was swelling. I mean, it was close to swelling shut. She, she came very close to not making it to the emergency room in time. From there, she was air transferred to a hospital in Dallas and put in a medically induced coma to help her body recover. Unfortunately, every year, thousands of people end up in emergency rooms for firework related injuries. Over the year, we see about 10 to 12,000 um, injuries that come to the emergency department. Emergency physician Dr. Adida Mitra says no matter how safe you are, things still go wrong. The idea that you have a burning object that's moving at fast speeds, um, I think that's where the potential kind of arises. Braley's aunt says she's been making good progress. Just yesterday, they started taking her out of her coma and she She's now communicating. She can't speak, uh, although she tries, <laughs> but um, she can hear. She will nod her head. She she tries to like sign things with her hands. However, they won't know the full extent of her injuries until she's off the ventilator and doctors can examine her lungs. We know it's going to be a long road regardless, but we're still kind of determining what that treatment plan is eventually going to end up looking like. For now, the family asked people to keep Braley in their thoughts and prayers, saying how grateful they are for all of the support they've received. If you do want to help, there's a GoFundMe to cover medical expenses and support the family during this time. You'll find a link with that for that under this story on our website. Reporting in studio, Isabella Quintanilla, KWTX News 10.